Right, I've just welded this piece, it's a latch plate, to an angle section. And of course, welding this along here has distorted the piece. Can you see that? Well, It's also got a weld in there, which has pulled it in that direction as well. looks better, it does look better. I think that might just about have done that. Fly press to the rescue. And that's just a, a motley collection of various bits and pieces. Still play it across the hole in the base of the press. Lump of alley between a V-bending tool and the job. couple of T-nuts on either side to support it. Actually that wasn't totally successful because although this piece is now nice and straight, it's not rocking, either way got a bit of a kink going on here. So, let's see if that will just squish out in a vise. Well that's pretty straight now. Across here, that's not bad. Across there, yeah. We've still got a little bit of a bend in this. Wow, well, that's not much. Oh yeah, there we go. This is another little job which is ideal for a fly press. Our customer supplies us these, these plates which we, we weld onto something else but in order to get them in the right place they slot into a jig and these get stuck in the jig because they're not straight, they're bent. Then when there's just a few you can just 
whack them with a hammer on the bench while you're going through the job. But we've got a, a box of 100 of these, or well, two boxes of 50, so 100 altogether. So, a simple setup on the fly press. Sawling's not even fixed to the press. This is a hunt and bolster, usually used for um, holding round dies for punching. But yeah, it's just a piece of packing at the minute, another bit of inch thick mild steel on top. This is a kind of a V bending tool, top part of a V bending tool, but it's obviously not a V, it's a circle, a round piece, so that it bends just a gentle bend rather than a sharp bend. And then just two loose pieces of packing on top. And all I'm going to do, we've got the stop set of the press. Took a bit of fiddling, but to get it right. And that just stops it so that it comes down to set position. And I'll just put the piece in there. and whack it and the handle is getting coming across the camera which is yeah, another demo and I'm just eyeing it up I'm just roughly lining up so that the holes in here are either side of the the top punch and that should just do it quick thump That's it. Actually, they're both around the same way, but that will now be good enough. To go in the jig without sticking. Just a few more to go. Quick job though. I don't know how else you'd do it any quicker. Although it is another one of those jobs that we shouldn't be doing it. It shouldn't be necessary. <laughs> 